I'm here in Ardrossan, and it remains the old medieval church. And today we're going to be talking about the archaeology of the area. I'm Josh. This is Tom. We're here at the old parish church here in Ardrossan. This is a late 16th century church that was blown over at the end of the 1600s by a hurricane. Is that what I heard? Well, they said it was a hurricane, but a strong <laughs> wind, definitely. Strong wind came through. And so this leaves us with the church foundations and churchyard. And we're actually right in the shadow of a Drossen Castle. Yeah, so we've got the two fundamental parts of the medieval landscape close together, the lordly residence and the ecclesiastical church. So it's one of the fascinating things about the hill is how those two bodies interacted. So as a protected site, it's actually quite hard to do archaeology up the castle, isn't it? Absolutely. Historic Environment Scotland will only give consent for the most uh, critical research to be undertaken. But down here and the church and the rest of the hill, that's not under the same sort of protections, is it? Well, the churchyard has a different sort of protection. The, the churchyard, yes. Yeah, we wouldn't want to see a disturbance of graves, but the balance of the hill definitely, it's if not uh, open game, it's got all the potential to allow us to go out and investigate how the hill's been used. And you've actually done some digs on the hill, haven't you? As a very small test, we had a weekend where we did a test pit array across the hill with volunteers from the local community to try and discover, is there more to this hill than the two sites we know? And you actually found some things. We did, which was lucky. It was <laughs> one of those terrors, would we actually get anything? It's but, always the fear, isn't it? <laughs> yes, you go out and it's a blank sheet. But no, in the lower areas on this lower terrace between the church and the castle, we got a decent amount of medieval pottery coming out. And that gives us a real good indication that there's some larger activity going on. And you're actually holding one of the earlier pieces that you found. Yes, indeed. This is a, a shirt of gritty wear. It's really 13th to 15th century. You can see a nice glaze on the outside and it's just forming into a spout there. Oh yeah, you can see that. So that's very much from this, the earlier use of the medieval use of the hill. But we also have evidence of that use, that broader use of the hill continued on. And that's this piece of redware, isn't it? It is indeed. And there you're looking at sort of mid 15th to mid... Uh, Still have a yes. glaze on it quite well. Indeed. And so you're looking at a continuity of use. And so this is from the height of the castle era right down to the end of the... Exactly. So we seem to be having some broader settlement on the hill, which we've got no other real evidence for. You'd suggest there would be a ville or some community here, but we're getting the detritus from that, that occupation. And these both seem to be quite domestic, don't they? Yes. So this is, this is sort of your bread and butter day to day. Absolutely. This, this is day to day wares being used in kitchens and discarded as they're broken. Has there been sort of any elite objects found on the hill? We've got hints of it. We would expect that to be discarded within the castle site that we've not been in, but we've had at least one shirt of saint ange ware, which is a very nice French white ware, again from the 13th, 14th century period, which is suggesting, yes, there's better quality table wares coming in here as well. So this is a great example of a hill. There's so much going on, but even on the side of the hill in test pits, you're finding yeah. medieval pottery. Absolutely. And that's without opening up any significant areas. So we're really hopeful for the society that there is actually uh, structures out there and there's more of a sort of ordered settlement to find. And your society works mostly with volunteers when you do your dicks, right? Absolutely. Uh, we provide, and I work for a company called Rathmill Archaeology, so we come in to provide professional guidance. They do all the legwork. We're, we're very much a sort of, you know, tea and coffee consumers as they <laughs> labour hard in the, in the trenches and pits. Well, thank you so much. My pleasure.